So Matt Gates' legal problems aren't going away, and now they might have a new dimension because essentially he may be illegally and unethically using his campaign finance account to cover his own personal legal expenses related to the scandal that we've been covering for the past couple weeks. So according to some new NBC reporting, I have it up on the screen, I'm not going to read it for you line by line, Matt Gates has really ramped up the amount of money his office is spending on legal fees since July 2020. He spent almost $100,000 on legal fees since last summer, whereas in the three years before that, he didn't even spend $10,000. So he spent far more in less than a year than he has in the previous three years put together. And that on its own might not raise too many eyebrows. Maybe Matt Gates is doing big projects and he needs more legal fees because he's consulting more lawyers. But the timing here is crucial because it was around the time that Matt Gates' friend and accomplice, Joel Greenberg, the guy who Matt Gates did all of these disgusting things with, and the guy who's basically flipping on Gates to the Department of Justice and the FBI and other federal investigators to give them dirt on Gates so he can get a lesser sentence, that was when Greenberg was first indicted back last summer, summer 2020. And so for me, it's no coincidence, guys, that Matt Gates was spending legal fees like a regular Congress person, and then his friend and accomplice who did all of these awful things with him got arrested for those things, and then Matt Gates ramped up his legal fees, ramped them up to a level he's never had before. And we've learned since then that even in 2020, Joel Greenberg was telling the federal agents that were investigating him about Matt Gates. He was already sharing information even before the, you know, the recent weeks we've been talking about it, about Matt Gates and the awful things they did together, right? Like that's what, like that's not a coincidence. And so Matt Gates, of course, as we, we often overlook it because it's less serious, he's also going to be investigated by the House Ethics Committee for, among other things, misuse of campaign finances. That if they find not only that he's done awful things, not only that he has that he has awful character with how he you know conducts himself outside of the halls of Congress and outside of his job as a congressman, but that he was using the money donated to him for political purposes for personal legal bills, that's a huge red flag. So again, it can't get it can't get much worse for Matt Gates. The man is un under investigation for a crime that could send him to jail for life. He's got somebody who knows where all of his skeletons are singing to the feds. Fox News has blacklisted him. Trump won't speak to him. He's not allowed to go at Mar-a-Lago. No one will talk about him unless they're absolutely cornered by a journalist and forced to do so. And now on top of all of that, to cover his butt, he may have illegally used and unethically used campaign finance donations to spend on his own personal legal fees. The guy is toast. He's toast. At the very least, his political career is over, but you might see him in an orange jumpsuit soon enough.